Hello Shooters, thank you for watching Tire Iron Channel. Uh, this past weekend we spent some time up around the 7,000 foot. Uh, we were up in the mountains and I got my my face a little bit sunburned. Whenever I get my lip sunburned I get a, a cold sore. So I got a cold sore on my lip. Hope it doesn't bug you. Uh, this is part two to our sheep, sheepdog, uh, wolf um, video series. This is going to kind of outline a couple of more canine positions. Number one, I'm um, going to change the domesticated wolf to the wolfhound. Buddy of mine, uh, Strat, brought to my attention the wolfhound. It's a breed of dog that is bred specifically to hunt wolves. So uh, a domesticated wolf, I guess it'd be a bad guy, then becomes a good guy. A wolfhound is someone like me, uh, Bass Masterson, Scuba Steve, a couple guys out, uh, a number of other people out there. Wolfhounds. Um, there's another category of shooter that I've, you know, kind of stumbled upon because of this video and people, uh, I had a ton of posts down below on my original video about the sheepdog thing. Really appreciate the interaction. I love the way people self-identified as, you know, one thing or another. And there's another position of people that I've known about, but I haven't really quantified. And that's somebody that just carries a gun to get themselves or their family out of danger. And this, this canine... We're going to call a, um, a black lab uh, and a golden lab. Black lab because black labs matter. And the golden lab because all labs matter. No, really, uh, black labs, golden labs, that breed, they're extremely loyal to their family. They're extremely loyal to their family. They're not loyal to anybody else's family. They're loyal to their own family. And there's a lot of people out there that carry a handgun that are black labs and golden labs. They're loyal to their family. They want to get their family out of Dodge and that's all they want to do. That's all they plan on doing. Sheep dogs, on the other hand, they're concerned about everybody and they want to get as many people out of the bad situation as possible. Remember we're talking about a, a mass shooting in a mall or a school or a stadium or anywhere where there's a lot of people. Um, I've talked with a number of other wolfhounds and all of us all of us wolfhounds salute all the sheepdogs out there. We have nothing but the utmost respect for anyone that self-identifies as a sheepdog. You guys and gals are the true knights in shining armor, the cavalry that comes in to save the day. Uh, that's the role you fulfill in one of those mass shootings. You're going to get the most people out as possible. And we as wolfhounds salute you for that. We as wolfhounds know that the odds are stacked heavily against us. The best time to be a wolfhound is when we are hunting wolves. When we are setting the ground rules. When we are setting the time for the gunfight, for the battle. Um, if we're in a stadium or a mall or a school, uh, the odds are stacked against us wolfhounds. There's not going to be, for one, the percentage of wolfhounds is really, really small. You know, if there's more than one or two shooters, it'll be really difficult for a wolfhound to make it out of there alive. We as wolfhounds know that. Uh, we accept that. Um, but we are extremely grateful for all of the sheepdogs out there. Guys and gals, you are the true heroes of the whole thing. You'll get the most people out possible. So I just wanted to bring uh, some... Uh, uh, some clarity to that, uh, wolfhounds, sheepdogs, black labs, golden labs, sheep, and wolves. I'm going to have a video series about sheepdogs, you know, some skills, mindset, and tactics geared towards sheepdogs, and some video series uh, towards the um, wolfhound, but there's not going to be as much wolfhound material out there as there will be sheepdog material. There's a ton more sheepdogs than there, all, there are wolfhounds. And talking with other wolfhounds, um, in order to be like a true wolfhound, you have to have been in a in a in a bad. You've had to have been in a gunfight before. You know, you may think you be a wolfhound, you like to be a wolfhound, but you're not going to be a wolfhound until you have uh, traded traded bullets with somebody. Uh, so the bulk of my video series is going to be to help um, sheepdogs. Sheepdogs are the heroes, and I'm going to do what I can to help the sheepdogs out there 
uh, get some skills, mindset, and tactics in a defensive mode to help get the most people out of those dangerous situations. So I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be fun. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get something out of it. I really appreciate uh, I really appreciate all the responses and the likes and the shares uh, on this video series. I, I think it's going to I think it's going to do some good. So ensure that your training and your practice is preparing you for the real world, your real world, and not for the fantasy land of the shooting range. And as always, have a nice day.